John, it's good to see you, and uh, thank you for coming out today and uh, for what you have spoken up on. Uh, I just want to quickly follow up on the bus situation because I know this has been a plan of the county. I know the county executive was pushing for this even when he was supervisor of the town of Babylon. And it's frustrating for me because years ago there, there, there used to be significant contributions from the MTA to assist Long Island in providing bus services. And as you know, uh, th there are a lot of areas where it has to be subsidized for it, for it to work. It just doesn't totally work uh, for the private sector. So one of the issues that at least I'm grappling with is this proposed congestion pricing in New York City, which I know uh, has an environmental impact there and will help there with, with the congestion. Uh, and to try to encourage people to use more mass transportation. But one of my concerns is I really believe that that funding has to be spent on a regional basis, not just fixing the Long Island Railroad, but also putting money into Nassau and Suffolk County so that we can have a much better system so that people can go north-south, as the county executive uh, has been pushing for, to connect to the Long Island Railroad. It's not only an environmental issue, it's, it's an issue where people just can't get to work, uh, especially if you don't own a car. So do you have any idea of what kind of money we would need and how many years it might take to actually fully develop that type of a system? Well, I, I know that uh, our capital plan to invest in, in transit is, is our largest, uh, most difficult piece to accomplish, and, and we're talking about tens of millions of dollars per year for us to invest, uh, getting into hundreds of millions of dollars over time. Um, we're a region of three million people. Uh, the, the, the way the world works now is a lot of people don't necessarily commute to New York City. They, they commute from Nassau to Suffolk or any which where in between. So we need, we were developed for, for systems to go uh, into the city, as we say, but uh, not necessarily to travel around our own neighborhoods. And so uh, we need to rethink how we, how we go from one place to another, and the cost is so staggering. And so I don't have a specific number, but it's so staggering that when we're facing all the other problems we're facing, we generally just put it aside and, and leave it for another day, and then struggle with paying for transportation costs, MTA monies are, you know, it, it's beyond our capacity to continue to, to, to pay, and it's, not, it's unsustainable the way it is right now. It's, it's not something we could afford in the future. So if there is no way to, to come up with different ways to pay for it, if we don't have additional subsidies, if, if MTA dollars aren't, uh, grown in ways that, that, that make sense, uh, we're looking for a greater crisis down the road. It, even the things that we're doing now, I don't think will we'll, we'll be a fix. So I don't have a specific answer, right. but I know that there's a... There's a so problem. if we can make sure that if this goes through, it's not just used uh, for New York City subway and buses as the mayor of New York would like to see, that would be something that you would be, the county could be supportive of? We are all in on making sure some of that money comes to us. If we're the ones paying it, we should be the ones benefiting from it. And uh, that's critical.